Good evening, family. I'm tired. You see behind me the sun going down. And I'm back with another email question. Topic, rather. From Big Ward at myyahoo.com. I work from sun up to sundown whenever I can. Because sometimes it be slow. And I'm sitting at home looking crazy. So every chance I get to work, I take it. And the words of Roscoe P. Coltrane. I love it, I love it, I love it. Get, get, get. <laughs> I'm too old for that, y'all. But anyway, I had a young lady email me. She's 27 years old. And uh, I think she said she just finished college. Yeah, she finished college. And she's looking to, you know, to be in a relationship and looking forward to marriage. But she don't want struggle love. She says she don't want struggle love, right? She And for y'all that don't know what struggle love is, that's just an old fashioned way of saying how it used to be back in the day when a man and a woman got together, they might've started with nothing and they worked their way up, bought a house together, bought land together, had kids, worked together, built their bank account up together. Modern women don't want that. They call that struggle love. What they want to do is they want a man already established that already got all that and they just want to come latch on to him. Even if they got money, she might already have money. But she don't want to put her money in. Her money is her money. And she want his money to be her money. Fellow, I'm quite sure you heard this before. So, that's what they mean when they say they don't want to struggle love. They don't want to build with a man. They don't want to work together with a man to achieve and have something in life together. Basically, what they want to do, they want to wait at the finish line while a man run the race. And then when he win, she want to say, we won, we won at the finish line. And he looking like, we won. You ain't did shit. You standing right here at the finish line waiting on me to finish the race. And once I win, here she's talking about we won. Oh, baby, we won, we won. Well, guess what, ladies? What's going to happen is with that mindset, you're going to end up with a high body count of men that just pumped and dumped you. Because we as men, we know y'all mindset nowadays. We ain't fooled no more. Once upon a time, men used to believe that women love them. Men have woke up, wised up to the game. That's why y'all hated Kevin Samuel so much, because he woke men up to what was going on, to what y'all was doing, and y'all hate him for that. But he was telling the truth, and y'all know it. So what happened is, the type of man that y'all want, he know that y'all want him for that. He know y'all waited the finish line for him. He knows that you want him for what he got and what he had in life. And you just want to join in and reap the benefits of his hard work without putting in any effort of your own. He knows that. So what he does is he'll play along with y'all like he don't know that you're running game. He'll play along with you like he he's the type of dude that, yeah, I want, I'm, I'm looking for a relationship to have a family, blah, 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 you know. He's established. He know you looking at him for what he got and what he's accomplished. He own a business, whatever, Lamborghini, whatever he got going on, right? Y'all call him womanizers because he's sleeping with all, and messing around with all these different women. And that he's no good, low down, dirty, cheap. But what's really going on with that guy is he knows that y'all don't want him for him. So he, in his mind, he like, you can't beat him, join him. So he played game right along with you. So he get with you. Play along like he don't know what you're doing. Act like he's stupid to the game, like he don't know that you don't really love him, that you so good to him because of what he got. He act like he don't know that, like he believe you love him. And he kick it with you for a little while so he get tired of you. And then he dump you. Or you catch him with four or five other chicks. So, now he done moved on, then you move up to the next dude that's got his shit together that's already established, already balling, 
you get with the next dude, same routine over and over again, because all of them know by now. There's a few simps still left that don't know no better. But overall, most guys, upper level, uh, elite guys know. They know the game. They know y'all running around here talking about you don't want to struggle love. You don't want to build nothing with a man. You don't want to get with a man that's trying and just working, that's grinding, that got determination, and he out there trying to get it. You don't want to get with him. You want to get with somebody that's already done won the race. And then you want to jump in there and talk about we won. And ain't nothing going to happen. You're going to be a pump and dump. Because them guys, they ain't get what they are by being stupid. So, you want your man already established, balling, got his shit together, six figures or better, bank account on swole, big nice home, no kids, big dick, sick foe, all that, ain't gonna be faithful to just you. That's what you want. Well, people in hell want ice water. You can want what you want. You ain't gonna get it, most likely, because these dudes don't walk up. And that's why women talking so much shit about the men nowadays, because the men that got that, that know they got it going on, the men that know they got it, I ain't talking about them bombs, them busters, that's all I want. The men that know that all the women want them, why would they chill out with one woman? When they know that woman ain't down with them for real. When they know that woman wasn't going to help him get to where he at. You want to wait at the finish line. You don't want to ride in the. You don't want to ride in the bike on side the man while he running the marathon. You know how you see them folk running the marathon and somebody be riding on side them with the the cup of water, passing them Gatorade or whatever while they running. Y'all don't want to do that. You don't want to help the man do nothing. You don't want to pick out his tracksuits when he's training. You don't want to make sure his shoes set out where he can get to him. Ain't got to look for him uh, while he's training for the race. Make sure his vitamins and supplements are all in stock. Or whatever he may need to run this race. You don't want to do nothing. You want to go do your thing, have your fun, live your life, and then when he gets to the finish line, then you want to show up and talk about we won. And you wondering why these dudes ain't, ain't hearing that. And you want to talk about them and say they low down, no good, womanizing, uh, whatever, ain't no good men no more. What would you do when you realize somebody don't want you for you? They only want you for what you can do for them. As a woman, how do you feel about that? Because that's what's going on. The men that have what it is y'all say y'all want, those men know that. I know it. If I get there, I know. I know what it is. Well, I'm in a different boat because I was able to have a few women before I got rich. So, I don't know. But anyway, overall, it's a, now it's a lot of women I can't talk to because I ain't, I ain't on the top yet. So, I know I know what it is. It's a lot of women turn me down. We're not no more because I don't holler at them no more. Back when I would try to holler at a woman, back when I was trying to be old school and approach a woman, whatever, I got I got turned down too. It just didn't kill my self esteem because I knew what it was. That's why I tell a guy I don't approach women no more. I knew what it was. It had nothing to do with something wrong with me. They figured I ain't I ain't on that financial level that that, I, that they need me to be on to be with them. So. You don't want struggle love, huh? Well, how about no love? Y'all run around here talking about you don't want struggle love. That disqualifies you from having any love. There is a God, whether you believe it or not. He knows what love is and what love is supposed to be. And he knowing y'all don't want that. You don't want love. You want finances. That's it. For you to sit here and say, because love is a struggle sometimes. That's what love is. Love is having someone 
to go through the hard cause life is up and down. Life ain't gonna be all up. Y'all wanna be with somebody when it's all up, when it's down, you out. It don't work like that. That's why the most of y'all deserve to not have nobody but your girlfriend. That's all y'all want. Y'all okay with that. So quit tripping when the dudes don't, don't want to do nothing. Talking about it ain't no good men. It, it ain't no good men that want to be bothered. There's some good men. Plenty of good men. They just don't want to be bothered. They tired of it. You think men are deaf and don't hear y'all talking about you don't you don't want struggle love and we know as a man we know in real in, in real I'm trying to be realistic real life we know there's gonna be struggles no matter who you are but y'all say y'all don't want that well I'm just talking about finances man you got millionaires go broke and bounce back you, y we don't know because they don't tell you all they been, they, they file bankruptcy all the time be struggling. You don't know it. Made bad investments or whatever. Anybody can, can fall, no matter where you at. So, you don't want struggle love? Stay here by yourself, because that's what you're going to be. I don't, I, I, bare rather is God going to send you what you don't deserve. You're going to get what you are. If you're a materialistic gold digger, you're going to get a materialistic gold digging man. That ain't worth a damn. He's going to be on your level. I promise you. That's why you keep getting that bullshit. Everybody get bullshit every now and then. So even the good good people get bullshit sometimes. That's your life. But overall, you you women running around here talking about you don't want to struggle love, you ain't gonna never have nobody. Or if you get somebody and he willing to do that crap you want him to do, that's the dude that gonna kill you when you are uh, when he find out you don't love him. When you decide you don't want him no more, that's why he's gonna try to kill your ass. Cause he gotta be a stupid ass joker to allow you to do him like that anyway, so his mind ain't right no way. He gonna kill you. So young lady, I don't know who advising you. Well, I know you look you looking at Facebook, Instagram, and all these women and like all of them got rappers and football players and basketball players and they living their best life. And you think that's just a normal life. That's how it's supposed to be. So the internet and fucked y'all head up. Cause that is not reality. What's out here in reality, y'all walking all past and don't want it. Y'all holding out for that fantasy world that you ain't gonna have. Some women might get it, but that's like 0.001%. The women out here that got men, long lasting relationships, marriages and whatever, they do the struggle of. They doing the struggle of. Them the ones that's married and got somebody. You single motherfuckers, chronically single, always ain't got nobody. Y'all the ones don't do the struggle of. And you're going to stay by yourself. Until you die. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.